My name is Andre Lash. I work for a Swiss company that, that is called Datalinks, and this is my social uh, networking itself. Uh, like I told uh, last uh, the last presentation, uh, I talk about uh, the the boarding, and today I want to have a discussion regarding the discussion board. We and how we can formatting that we can easily identify and work itself. So. I started with, like I did until the last time. Uh, we do some consulting approach. We try to make the, the five main questions, what, when, why, who, and we try to answer all these questions itself. And for that, we make some analysis what is out there. We I make some identification, what is uh, with the old uh, discussion board list that was provided, and also try to identify other discussion boards, that, for example, in GitHub and other, other uh, service that is around there, and try to adapt what could fit for, in this case, my, my own niche and can be more user in itself. And uh, using that, I include some additional features that I think can be useful for you and also for the community that can explore and see what is the current capabilities and to keep some type of interaction. And this is main, basically the ability to use some additional menu with features, in this case, uh, this case a permission checker, uh, the default out-of-the-box option like editing and items, add comments and response. This is different things. One thing is a comment, another is a response of a post, and I will explain later on. I also include some additional uh, custom view that is called, I call it the discussion board timeline, and uh, this is a different type of uh, timeline. And also, uh, like I said, it, we have a response, and then I I, I create a, a support list for my main discussion board that I uh, I store the 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 answers, and I will make a lookup that will display the answer from each one of the users. I also you give the ability to have votes and also emotions that you already saw on some of the other application itself. So I'm using for this a SharePoint page filter web parts. Uh, I will start some Power Automate flows using declarative JSON. And we can use Teams for the visualization of the content itself. So what is the goal here? So uh, what I have done is to identify what uh, information uh, we're going to have. So with the initial board that users will be able to identify. And from there, they will have the ability to see what is the posting, what is the tagging association, what is the tags and the categories associated there. Yeah, on the, your top left, we have also a menu and also a bunch of options that I'll describe it later on. The second part is the card. So the moment we click on on the title, we have the, the title and the description that will be on that post. On that, at any moment, we can define emotion. So, for example, I like it, I dislike it, I want to have a, a more, a more details, and we can make some a small conversation. Nothing complex, very straightforward itself. And below where, where is, the, is the text box area that you can create your comment, and then the workflow will do some action that I'll explain later on. So on the menu itself, uh, so on the initial board, we have uh, so the voting, the category, and in this, ma in this ma main area here that we have it, for example, the, the different meta information title, uh, tags, the created by, the created, uh, uh, the created, and also the category. The category is separated by, uh, by emoji plus the description. And I, I make a splitting between both. Even they are the same uh, meta information. Uh, the created by means who is the user. And we can also see who gave answers to that specific post itself. And when we expand the menu, we also have the ability to have fix menu options, and this is a majority of the out of the box. And here we have the comments, and we here we have the response to the to the to the post that people use. It. This is uh, this option here is a is a new one that I identified some days ago, and I included that is the permission checker. That, and I will say how we can do that. Also on the left, this is a more dynamic, and I wanted to include it because. Uh, is not only to make some posting, but we can also include some feature that can support the the, the person who is creating the post uh, to 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 make a better content and a better description. So it's a support feature for the for the creation of the post itself. So uh, what is the, the idea? We we click on the on the on the title. We have the card. And this is the meta information, the title, the description, the emotion, and the answers look up. And basically, uh, we, using my support list, I will make uh, the, the comments that I will include it, and I'll have a small commentar. I have the text box where I, I will be able to put the text, and then I have the old information regarding the different actions itself there. 
So what is the, and here is the flow associated. The moment I, someone wants to give an answer, he will fill out this text box here. And the moment uh, it is ready, he will get the message that you can click it to, to, to send the comment. The moment they click send, uh, there is a flow, uh, there is a formatting to call the, the flow actions. And this will fire the following uh, workflow that will create an item on our, on our support list. And then he's going to collect all the existing uh, responses from that specific item and is going to update the comment. Another thing that he also does is also creating a comment and also the response on that specific item. And after everything is clear, he's just going to clear the, the message that the user wanted and the status will return as normal. I will show on the example. Uh, because we, we have a one main board where people can interact, it, there is a second one that I created that is a more a timeline approach that uh, is ordered by modify, where we have also the, the card, but only on the edit, only on the displayed mode. The only option that the users can manage is more on the emotion. They can like it and dislike it. It's more for the visualization. And we can also filter by the different categories itself. And here is the, the features itself. So every time we have an answer, there is this support list that I group it by the type of the responses. Of course, the lookup will collect this information and we will send it to the main list where you saw on the card the answers itself. And this is the, the ability how we, uh, this is how I make the grouping and the customization on the grouping itself of the options. Here is more regarding the permission checker. Uh, there, is a, there is a multiple method information that you can pick from the, from the list formatting itself. One of them is the permission mask. And when you use this uh, this parameter, you're going to have the hexadecimal exa of the value itself. For a lot of users, this doesn't mean a lot of uh, of the information. And uh, basically, this can be converted to binary, and from the binary, you can define different roles itself. So to keep it simple for the users, I try only to use the three main security groups, read, edit, and full control, and I try to fix the hexadecimal for these ones. That will give us what type of permission that we have at on that specific moment. Uh, we cannot expect too much from the list formatting, though the only thing I did that uh, I'll just pick the three main hexadecimals and create three main conditions. If you have more groups with more complex permissions, you will need to create and to figure out what is the hexadecimal for these specific reasons itself. But for very basic teams and sites, this will be more than enough. The, the other option that I have it here is the emotions. What I have done is to create a bunch of validations and uh, values that will be uh, configured in two different uh, columns. One will collect all the emotions from the different users, and uh, the left one, that is the emotion, will register who was the user and what emotion he was uh, associated there. So we have one for the counter and one to identify who did what on the, on the emotion. So let's go to our example. I'm just going to jump to my site. And I'm going to, right away to the to the SharePoint page where I'm using, in this case, the, the, the discussion board. As you see it here, you have a filter area, the discussion board, and we call it here on the menu. If you click it here, we're going to have some additional features. This is nothing more than a normal SharePoint list support that I created that interacts expanding and collapsing itself. So, so returning to my view itself, what I'm going to do is just going to create a new entry. I'm just uh, I'm just making an iframe that redirects to the my main area, and I will say post about chemicals. For sample, sample, and here I will say this is the content for the post. Uh, post about chemical sample. And here I will call it uh, as a general uh, information that we want to define. I will say this will be used for investigation and uh, for supporting of our features, we're going to define some main information for uh, for percentage calculation. So we have a uh, I have some additional one additional feature, and I define that we make an inquiry on twenty five thousand users, and uh, we have a response of forty five. Uh, 14587. And uh, we have all our uh, entry for our discussion board. We save it, and he automatically will be returned to our menu option here. So the only option here is uh, there is some time until this is refreshed, but I can always speed it up with the process. And here we have our uh, new post itself. So when I click it here, 
we have the title, the description, and also we have the ability to add our own uh, emotions. I like it. I will make some research and I will take a coffee during the, the investigation itself. And then we have also the ability for the comment itself. For this, I'm going to create, uh, I will go directly to our uh, view and I'll go directly to my area here and I'm going to include, this is my custom response. The moment I click enter, he will say that there's some content to be sent. I click it. And the workflow will be will start to fire. So just one question of seconds. Run. And in theory, everything should be already created. So what will happen? Right now we have a response and we have a comment. Let's give a look how it is appearing. Oh, we have an answer, someone answered itself. And we also have also on the menu the ability to see uh, what uh, uh, who answered and what amount of answers that we have it. On my flow, I am doing two different actions. One is the response. And if I go to the my item, I also include a comment directly here. So this is the flow. Basically what I have done, I created a item in my support list. I collect all the lookups if they already have some answers and I add a comment. And then I update the lookup where there are the responses. And after the comment is created, because this is optional, uh, after cre creating of the comment and update the, the responses, I clear up the, the comment that I kickstart the, the process itself. And then if we go to our comment, the comments will be clean and there is nothing waiting for. Waiting for. So I just need to return back itself and if we expand it, we have also these options here. So as you can see, there is multiple options that we can already see. And one of them is the, the, the matrix of the permissions that we have it here. And when I click it on this, a dialog will appear and it will say, what is the full control? For the presentation, I have this grid, but for the, for the formatting I have on GitHub, I have it. Uh, I have it uh, only what if the information that we have it here. And for example, I have a, a different user, and this is my guest user here. And as you can see here, I don't. This user in these items, they don't have the menu. Why? For this specific user, he only for this specific item, he only have edit permissions. But for all the other ones, he only have read permissions itself. So this is, can be very useful when you are making this type of uh, uh, comments. Like I said before, we have the edit permission, the send of the item. And one thing that we also do, because we are doing about chemicals, we need to inform ourselves. What is the first thing if we are working? So we can create also some visual uh, tables and content that can also support the, our discussion board. For example, I, I created a periodic table and if I go over oxygen, he will give me some atomic information. And when I click it, he will uh, he'll link it directly to Wikipedia. Where is all these uh, keywords associated? Because they are both integrated. Okay, I have some atomic information. So what I can do more, I can pick this information from cal for the calculation and I can do very basic operation. Like I will put 45 plus uh, five and I will divide it by five. And this will give me some information that I can use for my own needs. And remember the percentage value. So what we have it here is also, okay, we make this inquiry to 25%, uh, 25,000 persons and they give me some answers itself. And uh, based on that information, I can say, okay, 59 answer, but at any moment we can go there and we can also change and we have a different chart that we can use for our own investigation, what type of information we have it here. At any moment, if you like the posting associated, you can like it. As you see here, there's one already that is already there. So if I cl click it, I will get the information from me and the other person who click it. And also we have the information who uh, who gave answers on the on the item. So I have two answers with the two users. And I, at any moment, if we click it there, we're going to have access to the responses itself. So these are the responses, and this is the meta information, how it's done. So I'm just going to return to my main information. And 
I'm going just to, to show very fast what is the, the background here. This is the main information. We have the title, the description, the category. And the voting is nothing more than a person user that is collecting the users who is voting itself. Here is the uh, the person for the emotion who is making, who is liking and disliking, and the person who is uh, collecting the counting and the answers itself. And it is how I'm making the, the, the management. So this is a lookup. So we have a meta information that we can treat it and we respond the way that you are visualization, uh, have a visualization like today. Returning to my, uh, my, my presentation. So what, one last action is we go, we have a custom view where we have these uh, timelines and this is organized but by every time I make some change on the on the item itself, at any moment, we can filter and we have an organized way how we can see it. If we click on the title, as you can see, we can only see the, the information. This is a good, for example, if we are making a presentation so on our Teams site. So this is my Teams, this is my content, I want to have a, a visualization. And we can go to the teams, and all everything looks in a better and nicer way. And uh, in a very simple, not that simple, I have to admit, this is not that simple. We can have a way that we can create some content, we can interact, and we can have some type of responses itself. And this is what I wanted to show: all the different capabilities, the feature, the the the, the visualization, and the content itself that you can use it. So on the repository of the list formatting, I have multiple of these uh, different formats like the calculator, the percentage uh, uh, reporting, and also the and also a simplified discussion board without the responses because of the workflow dependencies. So and you can use it to create and to interact, even to collect some data that you can use for filtering and collect it to identify how can you improve your own process itself? And uh, in a very basic way that you can analyze and see what you can do uh, on the using the list formatting itself. And David, uh, that's everything from my side. Andre, awesome. Really fantastic stuff. Uh, hard pressed for anyone to tell that's list formatting. So well, well done. And all those samples, as Andre mentioned, are available in the list formatting repository. Mm -hmm.